Hey, attention crypto gossipators, things are about to get interesting. Remember, not financial advice. Hey guys, what is up? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone's having an amazing day because I, as usual, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, Shiba Inu investor regrets selling early. I would have made one billion dollars, okay? That's a big, big statement here. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Shiba Inu is capable of creating real magic. So let's just dive deep into this and then I need to point out some very important things, okay? So a cryptocurrency investor who purchased Shiba Inu during its initial days revealed that he deeply regrets selling the token early. The investor had purchased $2,000 worth of SHIB in January 2021, a few weeks before it started to rally. SHIB was trading at 0.10 at that time but little did the investor know that the token would quickly delete 6 zeros within 10 months. An investment of $2,000 got the user to accumulate 25 trillion tokens. At that time in January 2021, the investor revealed that when SHIB dropped in price the next few days after his purchase, he panicked and sold all the tokens for a loss. In his defense, SHIB was among the worst performing cryptocurrencies in 2020 and the investor didn't want to risk his money. Therefore, he was fearful and pulled out assuming that his investment could tank and never recover. For context, SHIB's price value dropped at a percentage of $100 investment, dropping to $2 in two months, okay? So investor misses making $1 billion by selling early. Call it misfortune or bad decision, the 25 trillion tokens would have been worth $1 billion in the same year in October 2021. SHIB reached an all-time high of 0.40816 after 10 months of him dumping trillions of tokens it spiked 67 million percent and the two thousand dollars could have ballooned to one billion dollars the investor gave his reaction in a tiktok video in october 2021 after the token mm, re, uh, reach uh, after seeing the token reach its all-time high so saying, I just got a message from a couple of mates. They told me that Shiba Inu has gone up 67 million percent since January. Now in January 2021, I was browsing Reddit and came across a recommendation from buying meme crypto uh, currencies. One of them was SHIB. At the time, I put $2,000 into it and I left it for a couple of weeks. It went down and I sold it for a loss. It turns out that now that would have been worth $1 billion if I hadn't sold it. The investor ended the video by saying, now how to live without, you can watch the video below. So guys, um, well, I'm not gonna play it for copyright uh, reasons, but you can check it out later. Well, what, what can I tell you? I mean, you know, at the end of the day, um, it, it's normal. I mean, when Shiba Inu came out, it was just complete meme coin. No real vision, it was more like a joke as a competition to Dogecoin. So, I mean, you couldn't really make much of it. And uh, it's very, very true that it really dropped in value. Imagine you had invested $2,000 and then it just drops to, for example, I don't know, 100 bucks or maybe even less, 50 or 10 bucks. Of course, you know, the moment you see it dropping, you're gonna try and withdraw it because you're like, well, this is just a complete failure. I mean, I just invested into this for, for no really no reason. So a lot of those that invested early probably risked, okay, just kind of out of curiosity. And those that actually ma managed to stay and, and make the big money, well, it could be for several reasons. I mean, nobody really knew how it was gonna react, okay? Nobody knew whether there was gonna be a crypto wave. Uh, no one is 100% sure of anything. But those that stayed probably, you know, are the typical investors that just invest into, I don't know, a few, a few uh, meme coins, and then they expect one to blow up. Okay, I've seen people with that those sort of strategies. They've got like 50, 100 bags, and then one of these bags just blows up. Very, very common. You know, this isn't a 
a strange practice. Then you've got the other practice um, of, uh, well, I wouldn't say it's a practice, but you invest, okay? And then um, you just completely forget about it. And then you just wake up one day if there's any big news and you just uh, see your money up there. Well, it is it is like the other one that I was saying, but generally there are some people who just f f completely forget. I mean, okay, in this case, um, you had the investor that just sold before the crypto wave, but there are investors that, you know, even during crypto wave, they probably weren't even paying attention. And then next thing you know, when prices went back down, they realized there was a crypto wave and there was a point where their fortunes had changed drastically. So anything is possible. I mean, that that is the game. That is how it works. And I mean, it's, it's not, it's never gonna change. Um, uh, but now we kind of more or less have a clear vision. You know, we've got the layer two solution coming out. We've got a, a growing social media is really pumping Shiba Inu. So in the future, we could be seeing another massive pump. Who knows? You know, everything is po possible in the near future. But in the long term, for sure, okay? There's a lot of developments are happening. But this, you know, back in the days, I mean, oh my God, people were just putting in money into random things. And I get, I get this investor because at the end of the day, not only did he not get anything out of it, but on top of it, you know, he lost money because he withdrew early and now he has to live with the regret, you know, the feeling of what if, what if, that's the worst feeling. It'd be better that nothing ever happened because, you know, at least you don't have that feeling. It's not the good feeling of, oh, I could have been a millionaire. It's more of, a, oh, I'm such an idiot. What have I done? But he's not an idiot because you just never know. That's the thing. You know, it's a lot of money and back in the days, it just wasn't seen that serious. Now, yeah, it's got a lot of more vision, more bitter, more perspective, way more investors. But back in the days, I mean, look, when you see something collapsing big time, I mean, people just panic and they withdraw the money, especially with something that doesn't really have a like a strong stability or a vision. I mean, back in the days, it wasn't seen as serious. You know, as it wasn't seen as life changing. Now, yeah, okay, if there's a dip, a lot of people will stay because they know what the vision is. But then, and, and also, you know, two, three years ago, also cryptos were less known, okay? Less money was being made. We all knew about Bitcoin um, and, you know, maybe a few others, but that's it. People didn't really have much knowledge. Everyone thought, okay, the crypto time has is officially over. Those that made money from cryptos are the ones that made money from Bitcoin. That's it. There's nothing else that could change. But now a lot of new things are evolving. A lot of things are changing. So, you know, hopefully this person can be rewarded or compensated. I don't know. Maybe get some good karma. But things will work out. I mean, look, at the end of the day, these are investments. And uh, investments can go both ways. But I think uh, this person hopefully has made money, okay? May, well, not not a billion, I assume, okay? Maybe not even the millions, but a few thousand uh, dollars, why not, okay? Um, something good needs to happen as well. Not, not a catastrophe, just a catastrophe like this. Because I would even call it a catastrophe. I don't know how I would feel, you know, probably very, very miserable, because, um, you know, there's nothing worse than losing an opportunity, but you just kind of have to face it. it only makes you stronger. So let me know how you guys would feel about, um, you know, not selling early and being in that person's uh, shoes. So uh, leave your thoughts down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We've got a lot of interesting content coming out. Hit that notifications bell. And most importantly, guys, a big thank you to everyone. I appreciate all the support. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. Thank you.